good afternoon and welcome to America's busiest spaceport. I know I talk a lot about how busy we are uh, with launches and processing operations, but I think uh, Hurricane Ian also gave us a big challenge uh, earlier uh, in the week. Um, okay, so uh, Crew 5 is a pretty special crew and it's my pleasure to let you hear from them now and like to introduce the uh, Commander Crew 5, uh, Nicole Mann. Thank you so much. We are excited to finally be here in Florida and we are ready for launch. I would like to thank the NASA and the SpaceX team for all of their dedication and their flexibility in the wake of the hurricane. It's incredible to see the team come together uh, when we flew in today, we had a chance to do a pad flyby, and although we come to the Cape quite often as astronauts, it's, it's a different feeling entirely when you come and you see the rocket that you'll be flying on on a few days sitting on the launch pad and to, to land here. Uh, together as a crew, we've been training for almost a year, uh, but our preparation has begun long before that. Uh, Koichi will be his fifth flight to space, and he's been training for three decades, and for <laughs> Josh and Anna and I, this will be our first flight. We have each trained almost a decade, each of us, uh, in preparation, and we have really come together as a crew. I'm here to tell you that we are ready to go to launch uh, Crew 5, and I'd like to take a chance to have you hear from the rest of the crew. First, I'll introduce our PLT, Josh Cassida. Hi, everybody. It's time to get to work. Nobody does this alone. And we have thousands of people around the globe who we need to thank for getting us to this spot. This is really special uh, for me in particular to be sharing this with Nicole Mann, uh, one of my closest friends on the planet and two of my closest friends off the planet. Um, this is, uh, this is a remarkable opportunity uh, for all of us. Um, like Nicole said, we have trained and prepared for years for this. It doesn't come easy. It doesn't come easy for anyone. And we just want to thank everyone who has supported us up until today, everyone who's making this launch happen, even on the heels of a hurricane, and everyone who's gonna support us every day as part of Expedition 68. We're incredibly lucky to be part of this team. We've got this, we've all got this. And I just can't tell you how grateful we are for this opportunity. Now it's time for us to go get to work on a space station. Thank you. Next, we have the famous Koichi Wakata. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. Um, first of all, uh, my uh, prayers and thoughts uh, go out to all the people in Florida who are affected by the devastating hurricane. Um, I hope uh, with this launch, uh, we will brighten up the skies over Florida a little bit uh, for everyone. Um, it's great to be back at the Kennedy Space Center with my uh, wonderful crewmates. Um, I am so honored to be part of the diverse and international crew. It is this uh, global cooperation that enables us to maximize the ISS utilization, to promote the uh, commercialization in low Earth orbit, and to take us forward to the moon, Mars, and beyond. We are ready and go endurance. Now, I would like to introduce uh, uh, you to our uh, enthusiastic, vigilant, and always cheerful, our crewmate, uh, Mission Specialist 2, Anna Kikina. Uh, thank you very much. Hello. Um, I want to say um, many difficulties, difficulties uh, behind our backs Everybody knows it. And uh, people tried and continue to do a big job 
in order to uh, have a happy life for everybody, to really uh, good and successful job and uh, uh, to have many interesting uh, working together and uh, uh, development. And uh, I want to share with you my feelings. I really, I really want to say uh, to life from my side and to everybody who did, who made for me that unbelievable, incredible uh, opportunity uh, to be a part of our joint big something for all of us and to be a part of that great for me, maybe for you also, Crew 5. I really love my crewmates. I really feel good, uh, comfortable and interesting job uh, everywhere wherever I uh, be, in America, in NASA, in SpaceX, in Russia, everywhere, people, specialists, engineers, everybody trying to do your job to have joint successful. And I say thank you very much for everybody, for life, for that opportunity. We will do our job the best way. Happy? Happy, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, folks, um, we're going to spend some time um, taking some questions from the media for the crew. We have a microphone set up here on the corner. Um, and uh, so please go ahead and queue. Before you ask your question, please, uh, please state your name and your outlet. And if we're ready to go with the first question, we can go ahead and get started. Hello, I'm Marcia Dunn, Associated Press with Commander. Um, you're about to become the first Native American woman in space, and I was wondering if you could share your some, something about your heritage with us. Is this on your mother or father's side both? Did you was it a big part of your growing up, and what are you taking up to celebrate? And and lastly, why is this important for all Native Americans out there? Absolutely, thank you. Yes, I am uh, very proud to uh, represent. Uh, Native Americans and my heritage. You know, it's interesting, we're all from very unique, different backgrounds. We all came from uh, different educations and different job specialties, and it's really great to see everyone coming together. So I think it's important to celebrate our diversity and also realize how important it is when we collaborate and unite the incredible accomplishments that we can have. Uh, launching here on Wednesday to the International Space Station, we will join uh, two other cosmonauts and Frank Rubio, an American astronaut, as part of Expedition 68. And we were all focused together on mission success. Um, so we hope that this will inspire uh, young children throughout the world that come from varying different backgrounds. In fact, I hope it inspires adults as well to uh, follow your dreams, to realize that the limitations uh, that we may have in the past are starting to be broken down and that we're able to achieve things uh, when we work together that perhaps were a thing that were not possible long ago. Thank you. I, what are you bringing up to celebrate your heritage? And just a, a few sentences about your own self, please, in that regard. Of course, so I'm bringing um, many pictures of my family, uh, some couple special charms to commemorate uh, the mission. I do have a, a small dream catcher there that is uh, from my mother that will be a, uh, you know, a special part, I think, of um, my childhood and of my community and my family that will represent. Uh, hi, Richard Tribu, the Orlando Sentinel. Uh, this is also for Colonel Mann. Uh, it's actually a follow-up, uh, since uh, Marsha mentioned this. But uh, you have the opportunity, as being a member of this crew, and also, you're on a lot of hardware, because you were with Starliner, and now you're with Dragon. I've seen you in an Orion capsule. Uh, but looking forward to your potential uh, as a, a member of a Native American tribe to maybe travel to them and maybe step on the moon. What would that mean, uh, you know, to 
to you personally, to your mother, with this dream catcher that you're bringing, to your child. Uh, and I would just like you to speak to that grander vision. Thank you. Absolutely. I mean, we are on the cusp of, of launching to the moon with Artemis and SLS. Uh, it's incredible to, that all that's going on here at Kennedy Space Center uh, with Dragon launching now, Starliner launching hopefully very soon, and now Artemis and SLS. I think it's an exciting moment for all astronauts. Uh, we all have the potential to go to the moon. Uh, all astronauts at, at NASA are trained and uh, will be prepared and, of course, eligible for these Artemis missions. I think to, to each person, um, stepping on the moon will be a, quite a profound impact personally. Uh, but I think globally, which is more important, that the person that steps on the moon is just one piece of this huge team, right? These thousands of people that Josh talked about, uh, the thousands of engineers and scientists that Anya talked about, it's the people coming together to make this happen. And while it might be, you know, one or two people that have that opportunity to actually step foot on the moon, you're representing all of humankind. You're representing the people coming together, us exploring deeper into space beyond low Earth orbit and eventually to Mars. So when we look at the grander picture of that, that's where our focus is. As an individual, I know we all feel humbled and honored just to be a small part of that. Well, first of all, congratulations to all of you, and it is a beautiful day here. So I'd like to give our, the fourth crewmate uh, a chance to talk. Anna, let me ask you a question. This is your first flight. You've been a cosmonaut for a while, so it's been a lot of work. I'd like you to talk about the work you had to do to get here. Also like you to talk about the uh, science experiments. I'm a scientist. I'd like to know the science experiments, some of the key ones that you're going to be working on. Are you going to do a spacewalk? And I'd also like to know if you're going to be doing uh, outreach to the, to the Russian children. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the question. Yes, you're right. I'm training uh, since uh, 2012. It's not short period, but very interesting period. And uh, I, uh, nothing did uh, special uh, to have a part for uh, that team, that crew, uh, because of my heads, my uh, uh, leaders just uh, point me and told me, uh, do you want to be a part of Crew 5? Yes, why not? But I, w I was so surprised, and it, 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 it was, for me, <laughs> didn't uh, uh, expectable. Um, uh, after that, everything uh, much beginning, uh, very fast. Uh, on Russian segment, um, uh, I can it, uh, mark in um, one uh, such uh, big part, like um, to control uh, European robotic arm uh, uh, from the inside, intra uh, operation, like third operator uh, with help uh, for guys who are outside of station. It's a big part uh, of my doing on the Russian segment. Uh, at this time, uh, it is not a, uh, uh, no supposed uh, that I will uh, like active uh, operator one or two out, uh, outside extra vehicle operation, uh, operator, but it's possible. Uh, it's possible and I'm ready. I certified uh, for that uh, uh, work uh, in a, a Russian suit. Uh, and uh, certainly and definitely I will work with children on the station, uh, with any children. Uh, uh, that uh, popularization of our work uh, everywhere uh, in, in the world. It's uh, constantly working uh, of any uh, astronaut, cosmonaut uh, on the station. Thank you. Thank you.